New tonight as Ohioans head to the polls for early voting. One local political party says infighting is crippling its campaigning. And it all culminated in a contentious meeting tonight in Claremont County. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart covered a controversial social post by one member earlier. She's live now with the action that committee's now taking against him. They voted to censor Christopher Hicks and passed a motion calling on him to resign. Hicks wasn't at the meeting tonight, but he did send me a statement saying he will not resign and wasn't given a fair opportunity to defend himself. Still, some members believe he's become too big of a distraction. You don't have you don't have to It's been chaos for quite a while. Louisa McQueen joined the Claremont County Republican Party to make things happen. I have never been part of an organization that is so disorganized. We're completely ineffective. We're not doing anything for candidates or for the constituents, so that that kind of negates our purpose. McQueen, along with Tina Tolan, are upset with the party's leadership. We don't have a voice on the committee. We don't have order in this organization, and there's just chaos, and you can see now where it's ended up. They say issues between Chairman Jeff Corcoran and committee member Chris Hicks has been a distraction. Hicks has been under sanctions since last fall. We've spent six months focusing on that member instead on focusing on the candidates, and that's a big problem. You know, we are 28 days away from the primaries and this party has done absolutely nothing for the Claremont County candidates. We told you Hicks came under fire from his party and the NAACP for posting this image on social media two weeks ago, showing a black man being lynched, comparing it to his lawsuit against the county party. Yeah, and it's not fair that we got drugged in as members and be viewed by everybody else because of a posting that Mr. Hicks has posted because it's been dragged into the committee. It's not fair on us. Arguments broke out throughout the meeting tonight. The two biggest points of contention were Christopher Hicks and the chairman, Jeff Corcoran. There was actually a vote to remove Corcoran as chair, but that failed. Live in Batavia, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.